More Elon Musk DMs have been made available to the public due to the ongoing lawsuit between him and the company known as Twitter. And one of those DMs is very interesting. It is between Elon Musk and Jack Dorsey, where it's revealed that Jack Dorsey is genuinely interested in free speech. Jack Dorsey says, yes, a new platform is needed. It can't be a company. This is why I left. To which Elon Musk asks, well, how should Twitter look like going forward? Jack Dorsey says, I believe it must be an open source protocol founded by a foundation of sorts that doesn't own the protocol, only advances it. A bit like what Signal has done. It can't have an advertising model. Otherwise, you have surface area that governments and advertisers will try to influence and control. If it has a centralized entity behind it, it will be attacked. This isn't complicated work. It just has to be done right so it's resilient to what has happened to Twitter. And this is interesting because as Elon Musk went forward, he pushed the concept of getting away from the advertising model and moving towards a subscription-based model. This is also most likely why Elon Musk is very concerned about the number of bots on Twitter. A high number of bots is probably good for the advertising model, as the company can claim that they have a lot of subscribers and the advertisers will pay a premium to advertise on the platform. However, this would be detrimental in a subscription-based process as bots are unable to pay for a subscription. Now, what's also very revealing in the thread that Jack Dorsey said here is that governments are trying to gain control and influence social media. It is public knowledge that corporations have tried in the past to influence social media. For example, here on YouTube, it's called the Adpocalypse. Many companies banded together and demanded YouTube changes their TOS, which YouTube has done. And this is also something which happened on Facebook and Twitter. What is not public knowledge, however, is that the governments try to influence and control social media. In fact, if you go on Twitter, most uh, enlightened blue check marks will tell you that a private company can do whatever it wants. However, that is clearly not the case. We already knew this when the FBI pressured Facebook in order to change its TOS. And it does seem that the government, according to Jack Dorsey, also tried to pressure uh, Twitter in order to gain influence and control. So Jack Dorsey believes that in order to avoid this, Twitter should change the way it operates, going to the subscription-based model and stop being a centralized platform. Elon Musk found this idea to be super interesting, and as you guys know, after announcing his intentions of buying Twitter, he was actually promoting this new concept of using uh, a subscription-based as well as trying to promote more free speech on the platform. Jack Dorsey says that he is off the Twitter board mid-May and then completely out of the company. He intends to do this work and fix their mistakes. Twitter started as a protocol. It should have never been a company. That was the original sin. I do tend to believe Jack Dorsey here. I don't think he expected these DMs to be made public. I don't think he expected that Elon Musk is going to get into a lawsuit with Twitter and these conversations are going to be made public. Uh, he did start Twitter by claiming it's the free speech platform. Little did people know that Twitter's advertisement would be posted on our platform and get fired nine years later, but here we are. Also, Jack Dorsey has extended more reach than any other social media CEO at the time, going on various right-wing shows, despite of receiving massive criticism and backlash from the left. So I definitely do believe that Jack Dorsey is a person who doesn't like where Twitter is going. I would find it very interesting if I could have a beer with him and ask him exactly which part of Twitter he doesn't like, uh, which censorship he was against. However, while I do think his heart is in the right place, I do not believe that he has the strength required in order to carry his dream forward. I do not believe that in the future I would have much confidence if I see Jack Dorsey as the CEO of another social media company. There was even this conversation going on for a while that if Elon Musk buys Twitter, we will have Jack Dorsey as the CEO again. 
I personally do not think that's a good idea. And as I mentioned before, even if he would legitimately want to have free speech and even if he would want the platform to not be censored, I do not think he has the strength of character and the power required in order to keep people in line. So Elon Musk says that uh, I like to help if I'm able to. Jack Dorsey said, I wanted to talk to you about after it was all clear. Because you care so much, get its importance and could definitely help in immeasurable ways. Back when we had the, the activists come in, I tried my hardest to get you on our board and our board said no. That's about the time I decided I need to work to leave as hard as it was for me. So he talks about the fact that he lost control of the company when the activists came in. So exactly what we've been saying on YouTube for since 2016 is happening. Like these private companies that can do whatever they wanted were completely infested and infiltrated by activists. Elon Musk asks, do you have a moment to talk? About to head out to dinner, but can talk for a minute. I think the main reason is the board is just super risk averse. And so adding you as more of a risk, which I thought was completely stupid and backwards, but I only had one vote at 3% of the company and no, no dual class shares. Hard to set up, we can discuss more. So this is how companies get co-opted. They are, as Jack Dorsey likes to say, super risk adverse, and they are willing to make small concessions to the activists, but a lot of these small concessions become really big concessions and when the activists finally gain control of the companies, usually through HR, it's very difficult to get them out at that point. It's very difficult to uh, keep doing business as usual. So Elon Musk is definitely interested in discussing more with Jack Dorsey. I think it's worth both trying to move Twitter in a better direction and doing something new that's decentralized. It's likely the best option. I just have doubts, but open to attempting it. So all in all, I feel a little bit justified in my assessment of Jack Dorsey. If you guys remember ever since he went on Tim Pool and he went on a lot of other right wing channels, I definitely thought that he is trying to reverse his company and that his company was completely co-opted by activists. Turns out that I was right. Again, that doesn't mean you need to like Jack Dorsey or you need to think that... Uh, He's a good person, but what you do need to understand is that he did lo lose control of the company and these DMs definitely show it. It would be fascinating to see a conversation with the other CEOs of Big Tech. It would be very interesting to see a conversation with uh, Zuckerberg. I would definitely love uh, to listen in on that. But here is what happens behind the scenes. and. Um, I'm really curious to see what you guys think about it. Let me know in the comment section and I will see you all there. Take care.